How's it going, everybody? Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the channel. This is your boy Mars. Today is a special, special day. As you guys see, we got the Coyote in the background, the newest generation here, 2024 Mustang GT with the beautiful 5.0 liter in it. I'm going to show you guys about three tunes to this car. One's going to have the original engine, which gives us well over 1,000 horsepower. Then the second engine is going to be that maxed out 18, 1900 horsepower engine that everybody loves, um, making it faster than the RTR Mustang. Uh, very, very, very quick of a vehicle. It wheelies first, second gear. It is an amazing vehicle to have. Hopefully everybody gets this vehicle, especially for drag racing. It is an amazing car to have. Um, I'll show you guys those tunes and like always everybody new to the channel hit the subscribe button and let's get right to it So as you guys see in the background got the carbon fiber everywhere with the trunk the doors of the hood um, Did a really nice paint job here. I'm gonna I'm uh, pretty much give this paint job for everybody as well So that everybody can actually have the carbon paint jobs around uh, Making it really nice, you know proper drag looking vehicle as you see, the 24 Mustang GT, let's go right to the upgrades. We're going to start off with the original engine fully built. So right over here with the engine swaps, plenty of engine swaps you can do into it, from a diesel engine to a 5.2 liter V8. Uh, this is the Monster um, 7.2 liter V8 we're going to do next after this one. Uh, you got a V12 you can put in it, and even a V10 from a Viper. So start off with the original engine, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I did not put the oil and cooling. Uh, maxed out you do get a thousand about 60 horsepower uh, did not put it there um, so I might do it that way too. do it with the oil and cooling get a little bit more of the extra horsepower um, but so far I've been playing around with two different um, taking it off and on seeing which one traps better uh, but all in all really really nice vehicle 841 on that torque and then it weighs 2900 pounds as a normal modern vehicle should weigh around and then uh, may of course leave a real drive and then we're going to slap in the twin turbos. Uh, you are a, able to have a wide body kit here from that new GT generation, uh, one that they made with a huge wing. You can actually put that wing on there and stuff like that. They make like this, uh, I guess like a GTR uh, crazy spec one that they made that they're going to end up selling, I think, for like 300, 400 grand. So it's going to be insane to see that on the street. Besides that, we're going to go to right to the engine, make sure to put all the parts on your race. So very easy and simple. All the parts are just going to be raised, especially that anti-lag on there. Things popping all over the place. Um, and as you guys can see, get a little bit, or oh, so it's actually 150 uh, with the horsepower. I thought it was 160. 150 with the horsepower. So because of the difference, I think it uh, should, should still run the 141. Um, a little bit lower in the weight, as you guys see. Um, you do lose a little bit of that torque and horsepower, but I think it'll it'll pick it up. It'll gain it with the weight. Um, so I think oil and cooling is probably the best way to go. Uh, besides that, make sure to put the flywheel on there as well. Uh, I didn't have the flywheel. Make sure to put the flywheel on there as well. And then uh, going right over here, all the parts are going to just simply be race. Um, as with the rally and the suspension, though, uh, we need that to be rally. That soft suspension is amazing for this car distributes the power really good makes you do wheelies and all that good stuff um, nothing with this nothing with this and or actually <laughs> nothing, with this. nothing with the roll cage but you are going to fully well you know for reduction now of course we want it to be as low as we can with the weight and besides that you're going to put all the anti-roll bars on there to reduce more weight uh, right over here we're going to put that race uh, race on there so pretty much all the parts here are just going to be simply race that is that with that and then right over here we're going to put the drag tires make sure to put all the way in the bottom I'm gonna put those drag tires on there no width in the front at 255 full width in the rear at 315 uh, these you can also play with uh, see how you can do with these and also the size of the rim as well there's a couple things you can play around with and so it's just a lot of you know little neat things you can do with this car to kind of see where it's at and what, how you can get the best 60 foot and trap speed uh, but there we go. Make sure to put the lightest weight wheels on there. Got these really beautiful wheels. Did a little carbon fiber touch on it with the black accents and blue and stuff like that. Just made it look pretty nice matching the car. Pretty good there. And uh, the size of the wheels, just leave it alone. No need for the size of the wheels. If you 
guys want to put the spacers to make it look even more of a you know real nice drag card look make sure to put those spacers on there and that is it with that um there is a uh, hood you can take off the uh the spoiler actually the wing on there take off the little wing that comes originally on it it actually looks pretty good on it too with the carbon fiber it looks really good uh, but you got to take it off to reduce some more weight so i took it off there for you guys and then this is that massive crazy wing that comes on that special edition uh, ford <laughs> looks insane um uh, but yeah that's like that's like the new trend the big big wing uh, trend all righty guys let's go right to the tune over here and we got 55 in the front on that tire pressure 15 in the rear and then we got three on that final drive 370 230 170 129 one and 0.80 so real nice smooth back-to-back -back gears that first gear is pretty short there as you guys see besides that zero everything out in seven we got 65 65 uh, soft in the front stiff in the rear at 350 you can just do 350 it's fine it doesn't have to be exactly what my numbers are as long as it's close enough you are still pretty good um, raise everything up front and rear so we got 1991 nice equal distribution with a rebound and buff stiffness Nothing with this, nothing with this, and 100 and 100. So, beautiful vehicle. Let's take it out for a spin. I want to hear it and drive it. So, we're here at the real nice house. Let's take it out for a nice spin with the new Mustang. Pretty, pretty pretty nice all the way around sounds really good love the interior on it especially with the large dash on the uh, interior um, honestly you know they didn't go too crazy with the overall look they kind of kept it uh, throughout the different generations to uh, look pretty similar you can tell this is a Mustang on it um, but yeah a lot of people wanted to have the dark horse uh, but you know I, I, I figured it was gonna probably start off with the GT and then they probably the dark horse later but yeah let's go up here to the quarter mile uh, this is a mainly a quarter mile drag car uh, this is the main car that most people are going to use with this kind of horsepower um, for the drag strip so let's go over here to the quarter mile the mile is going to be or the half a mile is mainly going to be for that 18 1900 horsepower version of it um, and then a lot of people are going to be using that for that you know racing on other RTRs probably racing the BMW uh, van uh, there's there's a lot of you know the Supra it'll probably be the Supra very very good it should be a good race between the Supra uh, the Supra traps a little lower though um, but yeah it should be pretty cool cool little trap speed so line it up right here and there's going to be e-brake gas and clutch so if you press e-brake gas clutch you're going to get the RPMs to shoot up and hold at a high RPM. So first thing you do is press E-brake and um, the gas. And then you're going to see your RPM shoot up. When you see the RPM shoot up, then you press the clutch. So take a look at the RPMs real quick. There you go. So it's a real nice quick motion. Um, after you get it to go that high, you can, while having the E-brake and gas all the way down, you can tap on the clutch to get it maybe at a little higher RPMs. And all you gotta do is, as you guys see, we got 692 on that torque, 22 pounds of boost. And all you gotta do is let go of the e brake and the clutch. And there you go. Real nice, smooth transitions. Uh, back to back to back. Made the gears um, pretty long, uh, just so that everybody are able to be able to, you know, drive the car, launch the car. So it has a lot of room to make it a lot quicker, especially that first gear, make it shorter. Um, you can go as short as you can the key is to go as short as you can on that first gear uh, while having a real nice high top uh, trap speed as well um, a little bit mixture of both is, is kind of the key getting a real nice 60 foot and a real nice you know high uh, trap speed as well so a little bit both kind of you know the more you keep going with the same car you're going to keep noticing it 
Um, but besides that, you know, you, you'll see what the max out level is for the trash speed of this car. And then you can go with that and be like, oh, well, I have a real nice strong 60 foot and a good trap speed. So let's do it again. E-brake gas clutch, just like that. Take both those two. There you go. Real nice set of wheelie on it. You probably do a little higher of a wheelie or a little stronger of a wheelie with a stronger first gear. But as you guys see, 166, um, not bad. Kind of wanted it to be like around the the older GT, the 18 GT. That does about a 169, one, uh, 170. So that one is a monster of a vehicle. So making this one be 166 just kind of makes it a little bit slower. Um, but you know, it, it still is a real nice, smooth vehicle, and I honestly like the overall aspect of it. So let's go and show you guys the other one. I actually have two of them that I sniped from the uh, auction house here. Was really neat. I was almost almost able to get a third one and somebody grabbed it right before. So let's go real quick to my garage. Let's go to the Ford over here. And this is just a red one uh, with the carbon fiber accents all over the place. But this is the one with the 1800 horsepower, the one that the engine of the RTR has, I believe. Um, so it's amazing to have this kind of power into a car. Um, would love to have you know like Supras and all these you know GTRs and things to have this kind of power because in real life they do so if they do in real life they force us to start implementing these kind of powers to the car uh, but there we go 1800 horsepower 1300 on that foot pounds of torque and then we got 28 on that weight so even weighs lower um, so that's insane and this is the rear wheel drive version got the twin turbos in there now have the wide body um, let's go right over here, and all you can do is put the bigger upgraded turbos with the anti-lag. Um, sounds really good. Besides that, the same concept with the suspension rally, uh, everything else, weight reduction, and no roll cage. So pretty much all the good same parts. Um, right over here, everything is just exactly the same when it comes towards the build. Put everything race with the transmissions. Um, right over here, we're going to put drag, of course. No width, but width in the rear. Um, and then any wheels you guys want that are super light, slap these on there now. So any wheels you guys that are like, you know, uh, leave the size of the wheels alone, of course. Spacers in the back, of course. And that is it. And take off the, the wing on there, that wang. Take it off. I really like this wing, though. But yes, take it off. And that is it. Let's go right over here. Here goes the tune, guys. Oh, I didn't show you the tune for the other car. Here goes the tune. We got 55 in the front, 15 in the rear. And then we go. We got 220, 290, 190, 135, 1. And that is it. And then we got zero out everything and 7. We got 65, 65. Then we got soft in the front, stiff in the rear at... Uh, 350 raise all the way up to the sky front and rear and then we got one at 9.5 9.5 and one nothing with this nothing with this and 100 and 100 so amazing 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 vehicle let's take this monster of a vehicle outside for a spin and then um, yeah it's gonna be insane let's go over here so make sure to get those tires hot especially with this amount of horsepower into it. Alrighty, let's just get those hot. And same concept, guys. E-brake, gas, and clutch. Get those RPMs higher. We got 29 pounds of boost. Torque is 709 on that torque. Let go of the e-brake and gas. A real nice, smooth wheelie. Uh, make sure to make that first gear shorter. This has a lot of room to make that first gear shorter, but as you guys see, 233 miles per hour is insane. Any other vehicles going past 220 is a fast, 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 fast car. This is doing 230s, so that is in insane. Um, but yes, you know it's wow, really, really like it. Well, let's do another pass real quick, one more time. Remember, the shorter the first gear, the higher that first wheelie, and also the stronger the launch. So, made it so that everybody that are new to the to the game can also even drive the car by doing the e-brake gas clutch. And then you, you know, let go of those two. There you go. 
didn't make the wheelie go crazy. I wanted it to be subtle and be smooth with three gear shifting. Um, and there you go. So, really, 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 really nice. Alrighty, so let's go real quick. Um, let me load up the other tune, which is going to be the all wheel drive. Um, and that'll be uh, sums up the video. I'm going to show you guys, of course, the tune of it. So let's go to the all wheel drive version. Let's load that all up. Same exact concept, guys. Nothing has changed with the all wheel drive. It's actually, it's, uh, you know, thin tires in the front, big tires in the rear. But it's just all wheel drive. So nothing changed. Let me show you guys the tune for it. 1550 now with the tire pressure. And then we got uh, 220, 310, 230, 180, 140, 105. Zero everything out and seven. We got soft and soft front and rear. And then we got stiff in the front, soft in the rear at 236. Raised all the way up to the sky. Uh, 2020, 2.5, 2.5. So as you can see, all, all of the power is just squatting into the rear, staying in that rear with the all-wheel drive system. Nothing with those two. 100, 0, 100, 0, and 90. So 90% 90 of the power in the back wheels there. As you see, look at that beautiful squat. It does. Power just stays there in the rear. Really, really nice and smooth. So this is a really, really strong competitor. The RTR has a real, you know, real drag car to uh, compete against uh, especially both mustangs so it's gonna be really cool to see that um, both of them racing against each other but yeah let's get these tires hot you can do reverse and forward burnouts there we go let's do a couple launches before it rings and same concept e-brake gas clutch you can let go of the e-brake gas and there you go after a couple passes it'll grip better and better um, but look at that this one is four gears because all the gears just back to back to back and you still trap about the same this does about a little bit quicker this is a quicker of a vehicle you're moving down the line a lot quicker so your, your numbers are, are a little lower as you saw um, also it did spin just a slight bit from the hit um, but yeah really really nice I love the way it squats in the rear uh, when it launches it just takes off man. I mean all wheel drive with it let's do another pass uh, yeah, sums it up, sums it up. Let's go right over here. Heat break gas clutch. Let go of those two. Now a grip. Boom. Boom. A lot quicker now being all wheel drive. 60 foot is insane. And as you guys see, we're just about one mile per hour different than the real wheel drive version of it. So insane hopefully you guys have this car where everybody is going to have this car but hope you guys get multiple of these cars i'm probably trying to probably get about four of them uh just want to have all different versions of it it's an amazing vehicle love it honestly do like it and hope you guys have it enjoy subscribe and i'll see you guys around with another drag video peace out everybody bye bye now